బాగా ఏంటి హలో ఎవ్రీవన్ ఐఎమ్ వి సాయి వెంకటకృష్ణన్ సెకండ్ ఇయర్ కంప్యూటర్ సైన్స్ టుడే సెషన్ వీ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ కాన్వెక్స్ హెల్త్ ప్రాబ్లమ్ అండ్ హౌ టు సాల్వ్ ఇట్ యూసింగ్ డివైడ్ అండ్ కాన్క్యూల్ టెక్నిక్ సో ఇన్ టుడే సెషన్ వీ విల్ యూస్ వాట్స్ ద కాన్వెక్స్ హెల్త్ ప్రాబ్లమ్ అండ్ వేర్ ఇట్ విల్ బీ యూస్డ్ ద వేరియస్ సొల్యూషన్స్ టు ఇట్ and what's the divide and conquer technique and how to solve the problem using this technique so before understanding what the convex hull problem is we should understand what a convex set is it is a set of points in the plane where any two points p and q in the set the entire line segment pq belongs to the set for example If you see here this point and this point if you draw a line segment it's out of the set so this is a non convex set whereas these two points the line segment connecting these two points is within the set and therefore it's a convex set so next is the convex hull based on the definition of the convex set we arrive at the convex hull definition the convex hull of a set s of points is the smallest convex set containing s so based on this the convex polygon is defined a convex polygon is um, a shape or convex hull of a set s of n points where n is greater than 2 and if n is equal to 2 then the convex polygon degenerates to a line segment so the figure here p12 p10 p3 p1 p0 is forms a convex polygon so basically the convex hull problem deals with constructing the convex hull for a given set s of n points so to solve this problem we should find the extreme points that is the vertices of a convex polygon the extreme point is a point of the set s that is not a middle point of any line segment with the n points in the set in this figure you can see the extreme points are p10 p3 p1 p0 and p12 the remaining points are all interior to the convex polygon and this is the smallest convex hull that can be constructed so this problem has various applications in the field of geographic information systems image processing pattern recognition game theory in image processing or pattern recognition we can identify the face using the facial descriptions um, or the static points like the eyebrow etc and in geographic information system also we can see whether um, uh, a location is within the specified area or not or whether the person is within that area or conflict zone or not so these are the various algorithm design techniques that have been employed to solve the convex hull problem so as you can see the time complexity for the brute force technique it belongs to big o of n cube whereas for the divide and conquer technique the best case belongs to big o of n that is a linear time so on seeing this we can come to the conclusion that the divide and conquer technique is a much efficient algorithm than the brute force technique so what's the divide and conquer technique it it's actually three steps the problem instance is first divided into several smaller instances of the same problem the second step the smaller instances are solved recursively and sometimes a different algorithm may be employed if the instance becomes small enough and also the solutions obtained for the small instances may be combined to get the solution of a larger instance so finally we will be able to solve 
the original problem that we had in our hand so coming to the main solution how to solve the convex hull problem using divide and conquer technique so in this the algorithm what we are going to use is called as the quick hull algorithm the name is similar to quick sort because it depends up it similar to the quick sort algorithm uh, in its data flow also so consider p1 p2 p3 up to pn be a set of points n points in set s so assume the points are sorted in increasing order of their x coordinates and whenever a tie occurs the y coordinate is used as a tie breaker to sort the points so let p1 and pn be the two distinct ex distinct extreme points of the set's convex hull so p1 is the leftmost point and pn is the rightmost point so the line joining p1 pn separates the convex hull or the set of points into two sets s1 and s2 here s1 is the points to the left or the points above and s2 is the points below p1 and pn the so the points of s on line p1 pn other than p1 and pn cannot be the extreme points and thus they are excluded from further consideration the boundary of the convex hull of s is made of two polygon chains called the upper hull and the lower hull the upper hull is the sequence of line segments with vertices at p1 the points in s1 that is the points above p1 pn line segment and the point pn whereas the lower hull is um line uh, sequence of line segments with vertices at p1 pn and the points below the line segment p1 pn that is the set s2 so the upper hull and the lower hulls are constructed independently by the quick hull algorithm and then they are finally concatenated to form the convex hull of the set s of n points so constructing the upper hull using the quick hull algorithm so the same technique can be used to construct the lower hull also so let us deal with the upper hull and then the same can be used again for the lower hull so point p max vertex is identified in s1 which is the farthest point from the line segment p1 pn and if there is a tie between two points the point p max that maximizes the angle p max p1 pn is chosen the quick hull algorithm identifies all points of the set s1 that are to the left of the line p1 p max and make up the set s1 comma 1 and the set s1 comma 2 is a set of points that is to the left of line p max pn along with p max comma pn points so the algorithm continues constructing the upper hulls of p1 union s1 comma 1 union p max and p max union s of 1 comma 2 union pn recursively and then joins them to get the upper hull of set p1 union s1 union pn so the upper hull of p1 union s1 of 1 com union p max is nothing but this region whereas um the upper hull constructed using p max union s of 1 comma 2 union pn is this region so combining these two we get the upper hull of the set p1 union s1 union pn that is nothing but the whole region covering the set of points above p1 pn line segment
so how do we find the p max point that maximizes the angle or that is farthest from the line p1 pn we use the formula of to find the area of triangle uh, p1 p2 p3 so here using the determinant form of calculating the area we arrive at this formula where x1 y1 x2 y2 and x3 y3 are the coordinates of the points p1 p2 and p3 so the sign of this expression is positive if and only if the point p3 is to the left of line p1 p2 so using this formula we can check in constant time whether a point lies to the left of the line and also determine the distance of the point from the line so using this we can find the farthest point that is to the left of the line and using that we can recursively construct the upper hulls and then concatenate them to solve the problem so this is the algorithm that we just discussed now so this is the quick hull algorithm which finds the set of points above p1 p2 and the set of points below p1 p2 and then finds the upper hull and lower hull using the algorithm qh walk qh walk invoking it twice so this is just a continuation of the algorithm that we just discussed right now so the time complexity of the convex hull problem using the divide and conquer technique depends upon the sorting algorithm that we use to sort the points based on the x coordinate and sometimes on the y coordinate so if we use a quick sort algorithm so the worst case of the quick hull algorithm is same as the worst case of the quick sort algorithm that is we go of n square and um, this is not the case always for an average case the performance becomes much better due to two re reasons one is the average balance split of the problem into smaller sub problems and also a, l a number of points on the line p1 pn and also interior to the triangle formed by p1 p max and pn are eliminated from further processing so this improves the performance of the algorithm when compared to the brute force technique so the best case efficiency of the quick hull algorithm belongs to big go of n that is a linear time fashion and it's much appreciable so so finally we can arrive at the conclusion that the convex hull problem can be efficiently solved using the divide and conquer technique in a linear time when compared to the brute force technique that takes n cube cubic time polynomial to solve the same problem so thank you all and a special word of thanks to my course instructor mr arul suju for giving me this opportunity and thank you audience for watching this video